Buongiorno da Vancouver. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your fellow paisano in the house. Welcome to another edition of Culture with Rino Z. Before anything, put a like and subscribe. As always, per sempre. If you are a big Juventus fan like me, Calcio fan, Serie A fan, you know, so on and so on. But obviously, recently, it has been more Juventus because with Juventus, it never ends. Now, start off with this Juventus news. I want to, that's why I'm going to post as my the title. Breaking. Marotta to Juve. A lot of rumors been circling these last few days after this game in Milan in Juve. I don't know what to tell you guys. <clears throat> Already yesterday, I put my two cents about the coach, which I can get that at, later on a little bit of things. But with this Marotta situation, of course, they'll still keep Juntoli and then put Marotta at the high position. But why it could happen? I know a lot of Interista might attack me. A lot of so-called Juventini did not, not like the idea that he went to uh, Inter. Because we all remember Marotta when he left to, uh, to Juve. <laughs> Juventus went down. And when he was there, uh, you know, he saved a lot of money on Elkan. That's what Elkan wants him, because he wanted him last year. It seems like he's pushing again, but let's wait and see, because the rumors seem that he might extend his contract to 2027. So, I don't know. It will be good, him and Juntoli, if that ever happens. But at the end of the day, Elkan doesn't care about the Champions League or, or Scudetto. All he cares about the money, putting a, uh, one of the best uh, manager like Marotta there. But who knows? It could be a slight chance that there's a lot of problems of the Inter, that he can't handle it, that he has to leave. Because if Marotta does leave uh, in the summer, whenever that decision is going to be made, if it's for sure or not, <laughs> Inter's not going to look pretty. At least they have some ideas because you can look on the news <laughs> Zhang is still having trouble uh, with investigations in in China, wherever he is, uh, you know. So there's a lot of problems there, and <laughs> it's not looking pretty. But they're saints, you know. Uh, into the they're, they're a serious team of Italy, so we cannot touch that team, and you know they don't do anything wrong. Only us Juventus, correct? But besides that. Uh, some other news, Mr. Chiesa might renew his contract for that one year. But my other option through my Paisan, there have been talks even with Liverpool for Salah. I know a lot of people want Chiesa to leave because of his injuries whatsoever. But if this move happens, okay, let's, if this move happens, if he doesn't send the contract, you're not gonna. Uh, it's not gonna look pretty because as they told me, they're not gonna sell him fifty, sixty million, maybe thirty. Then I'm not too sure if it was a replacement for Salah. Like I hope not. <sighs> Great player, but is he gonna do good in Juventus? I don't know. We'll see. Whatever the decision is, so I hope they do the right one. So. For me, it's better that the re re he signs that contract for one year than if he wants to go, he wants to go. Because you can see he's not happy. And he did, doesn't like uh, the style they're playing, what well, we're playing, because I, I heard they ha he had some issues with Allegri. So we have to wait and see. Now, speaking of Allegri, speaking of Allegri, we're all going to talk about Allegri until the end of the season, no matter what. I know, yes, I said my thoughts about Conte in Tagomota, which they're still circulating about, to, because they are, they have talked with Tagomota and Conte, that, that doesn't leave the option. But with, but not only Juventus, Tagomota, even Milan. Same with Conte. Of course, we have to see if he signs, then if he's going to come. And all the other fans won't be happy. They won't even be happy to see Marotta because he's at Inter. But, guys, can we just 
take a break you know like we need to stop acting little babies oh that guy's over there and i know he went to into this and that as long as he comes he does his job that's all that matters because we're not going to get a Zidane, we're not going to get a Klopp at this moment, because we've got John Elkin, who doesn't like to spend. Eh. They always talk about champions in the division to make it big, but in order to compete champions, you need a lot of money. And I know some fr fans, so-called Allegriani, don't like the idea to hear that leg is going to leave, because more than once, he, he's been saying, even recently, uh, that the Scudetto uh, la, do, la dovrebbe vincere, that you have to win, but not obligated. So when a coach says that you have to, that is not obligated, that means something fishy, that he may not stay. And where Juventus, uh, you know, you keep on seeing top four, uh, then the second time in a row say that we're not for Scudetto. <laughs> you got to try, my friend. If you don't try, <laughs> that's the reality of things. And at the end of the day, let's see if Allegri uh, stays. No me moyo di fame. I'm not going to cry. It is what it is. Because everyone is saying, oh, uh, you know, you change with Motte. It is kind of like Allegri. But we still need the players. They try to bring the players that Allegri want. It did not work. Why they're not bringing the players that he he doesn't want? Maybe maybe why he's getting frustrated. The fact that said that he want maybe he wants to leave because they're not giving the players that he wants. He's been there for three years. I know the season's still short. I'm hoping at least the Coppa Italia, Scudetto. I don't know. Depends how winter is, but we have to wait and see if they don't drop big time points like they did last year. But guys, non va bene, non va bene. So we just have to wait and see. And these are the facts of reality. Quality players, were <laughs> get some good players and then, because Juventus are not going to spend that kind of money. They will eventually, but you can't expect uh, bringing all these quality players that we had in the past with Allegri and it's going to be boom. It's going to be the same thing, guys. Same thing. Yes, we can talk about style whatsoever, but we're in Italy. That's the style. We can expect anything. Because even Zaghi does the same thing, but he has that engine in the midfield that goes boom, 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 boom. And we witness uh, uh, the Derby Italia. Our midfield, yes, it's really bad. But if you have a coach that doesn't put you the pressure and wants to stay with the tie, then I'm sorry. Then the players will go above. That's all I have to say about that, and let me know your thoughts about uh, Marotta, Chiesa, of course, the Salegri. Hopefully, I don't talk about Allegri anymore, because next week there's Champions League, Europa League, I believe. So, I can talk about that during the week, and talk about a little bit more about Calcio on the weekend. Till then, my fellow Byzans, put a like and subscribe, and I will chat with you lovebirds soon. Ciao, ciao.